hi everyone in this video uh, we will see how we can uh, create the user story how we can add some work items in the sprint so let's create a user story so click on new work items user story and give it the title user story let's say add login page you can assign this user story to the users for example I'm saying this user we can add some description for example add login page in the application and blah 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 it's acceptance criteria for example user should be able to enter email and password and the second password length should be minimum of seven characters and whatever you want to add you can also add some discussion for example uh, I'm saying that uh, please see the mock-up was uh, this is just an example you can add the story points so what are the story points uh, it depends on project to project or company to company for example uh, when you need to uh, build your clients it may depends on the story points you can set the priority for example I'm saying the two the risk of this that is high medium low and you can also uh, add some you know attachments for example any attachment you can attach for example I'm saying this file so I'm attaching it so also let's create it to hit the save button so the user story has created if I go to the boards you can see so if you go into the boards here you can add for example if I want to add one more user story I just click on the new and we can say that uh, user story add logout functionality just hit enter it's just created and then you can go and assign it to the user add some description whatever you want and if you want to delete user story for example you accidentally created a wrong user story or a wrong work item you just go to this three dotted button and you can just delete it okay also uh, you can change the state of the user story for example currently in the, in the new when the development started the developer change the status to the active and then uh, you can see once I change the state it moved to the active you can also drag and drop from there for example from uh, new to the active to the resolved and then closed and then active so once it's there you can also see the history of the user story or the work item if I click on there we can see that the new one created then it moved to the backlog then it started and then code complete and then it resolved okay and uh, also you can keep your discussion in the particular work item by mentioning the users and you know everything you can keep track of your uh, discussion on the user story or the or on the work item so uh, now if I go to the sprints you can see there is uh, one user story and this one user story is added in the sprint and if I go to the backlog you can see to the backlog so if I am in the sprint 1 there is two user story if I go to the sprint 2 you can see there is no item there so if I go to the sprint 1 again and let's say that we will cover this user story in the next sprint you can just go and change its iteration to the sprint 2 okay and save and close and refresh you can see now there is only one user story here and if you go to the sprint 2 you can see the story is there so in the backlog 
you will see all the work items that you are gonna develop in the future or that are uh, are done but in the sprints you can see that what you are gonna actually develop in the given period okay so for example now in if I go to the uh, board if you want to add some task into the login page you just go and you can create add link new item what is the type is that is, is it the parent of this item the child the duplicate I'm saying that it's the child and what are the type of the item I'm saying that it's a task and I just say that uh, adding new style of login page and okay and you can say that its estimate will be 8 hours and remaining in 0 and completed is 0 and you can assign it to anyone and save and close you can for example now this user story in development you can also add some bug into it for example new item child you can say the bug uh submit button is not working so it's added so if you go to the work items you can see all the work items the bug is there the task is there but if you go to the board level you can see that it's showing that this user story has one task and one uh, bug and if you see view as backlog you can see if you want to add some uh, you know task you can also add from their task and bug and you can also see that how how many bugs and how many tasks a uh, one use user story has so there are different views and different uh, things that you can add and you know how you can manage the use your task and user stories so there are different views Wh whatever you like you can do it okay so that's it for this video and please take in and i'll see you in the next next video bye